Hello, in this video I'll show you how you can attach a detail to a curved surface. So in previous videos I've taught you how you can use Claver Tech to insert objects into another object. So here I can just position it right here, select the plane, delete these four polygons, attach this, bridge these edges, switch to border, select, switch to edge, deselect, and bridge and now this is one object. But let's say I want to attach this more complex object to this curved surface and here I will make a little bit smooth, let's say two iterations and I will make a copy of this and I can use Claver Tech to align it right here but you notice that it doesn't align very well because this thing is flat and this is a curved surface so I will use two things to make this happen. First I'll create a plane, Alt-A, and align it right here. So this object right here, I made sure that its pivot is right here at the top, so you want to make sure that its pivot is even to where you want to insert it, and it's zero on the z-axis, because I just made it right here on the grid. And so when I created a plane, it also automatically gets created on the grid. So it's also zero on the z-axis. So basically you want to make sure that these two objects are even on the z-axis. And I will make this, let's say, 110. And I'll make this 110 as well. And I will also turbo smooth this just to give it some more detail. And now I will select this object, apply a skin wrap modifier. I will scroll down here and check weight all points and then here I'll click on add and select the plane. So now I can apply for example bend I notice that when I bend it the spherical detail follows and you want to make sure the detail you're adding has enough geometric density as well so that it can evenly follow the plane. Up here I've got something called rapid tools and this is a free collection of scripts you can find a link to these scripts in the description. But here there's something very useful called Rapid RT Conform. And right now we have a plane and turbo smooth, so I'll right click and collapse it. And I'll just make sure it's an editable poly. And now I'll go into Vertex and select all these vertices. And then Rapid Tools, click on Rapid RT Conform. And I'll select this object right here. So here we've got this little button. Once you're done, you can click on this to turn it off. What I can do now is move this point helper and you notice that the plane is following it. So what's happening now is that the plane is following the box and this circular detail has skin wrap so it's also following this plane. So what I will do now is move it right here and actually beforehand I will rotate it and then I can move it like so and I can scale it move it and rotate I can switch the rotate mode here to local and so I can now get this wherever I want and you notice how it is nicely following the curvature and once you're done simply click on rapid conform active and then you can select this detail and simply collapse it you can select the plane and delete it. Now it's just a matter of making sure these two objects fit together. So I can apply a poly, select all of these polygons, and delete. And then I will click on attach and attach them together. And here we are. And now I can switch to element, select these two, Control I to select inverse and then detach this. And now I can simply use either bridge or simply border and then Alt P to cap. That's a default hotkey. And then simply connect it together. And sometimes you may have to adjust the topology a little bit. Here I can turn on face constraints, just kind of fix it like so. And now I can just connect and bridge and make it all fit together.
If you have a situation where it doesn't fit, you can just try various techniques. For example, I can select this edge, loop, and remove. And we can test out how it looks with Turbo Smooth. And just make various adjustments here. Set Flow is also a good tool to use here. So I can select this and set flow. Turn off the cage. You know, just insert another loop through here. Hold down shift to apply set flow and then connect. And then I can select these edges and set flow just to improve the curvature a little bit. and you should get a pretty nice result and I can give this a yellow material here and I can select this and turbo smooth and one more thing I can do is I can actually move these edges because right now you have these edges that are very close together and I can create some deformation and you notice how we have this unevenness here so set flow is a great way to quickly fix those kinds of problems Thank you for watching and take care.